Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. I hope all is going well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, especially share, guys. This is going on, what is it, two or three days um, since Athena has been missing. And we have got to get this little girl's picture and her name and her story out there so she can be found soon and brought home. I mean, like ASAP. This is, I reported wrong yesterday only because there's been misinformation going out. She is a four-year-old little girl, and evidently she is non-verbal. So, guys, keep your eyes peeled. Please get the word out there. Get her picture out there. Anybody with any kind of helpful information, please, please report it to Oklahoma Bureau of, In of Investigation, please. Okay, let's get on with this video. First of all, you know, this is Athena. She is four years old. They describe her hair as blonde. I'm not sure why. Athena was last seen wearing a pink butterfly sweater and pink pants, according to Oklahoma Highway Patrol, and has limited verbal skills. Now, whether anybody likes it or not, I did find this information. I am going to put it out there because the more we know, you know, the old saying, the more you know. Okay, people surrounding missing Athena, the bio mom, is Jasmine Adina K. Brownfield Tucker. She evidently has gone by other last names. Don't know what they are. Married October 2022 to Devont Tucker. Bio dad is Wesley Brownfield. The paternal grandmother is Penny Brownfield. The babysitter or caregiver, whichever it is, is Alyssa Galvin Adams. Her husband, and which they're separated, is Ivan Adams. The babysitter or caregiver's mother is Shelly Miller and the boyfriend now since they're separated from her husband is Bladen Davis. Now do with what you want that information yell at me get mad at me but the people surrounding these children are the people that need to be looked at first and foremost as we all know to get the information that we all need to find these kids. Now say what you will but there you go. Okay, this is going to be a map showing the town where of Cyril, Oklahoma, where Athena Brownfield lives. A postal carrier called police after finding another child later determined to be Athena's five-year-old sister wandering alone outside near their home, which is on West Nebraska Road. This is the uh, map. It shows where it's located in Oklahoma. These are some pinpoints that they had up, which is Athena Brownfield 4 was reported missing at around 2 p.m. on Tuesday. A postal worker found her five-year-old sister alone outside an Oklahoma home. The child's parents are in contact with police, but there's no other details. Officials are conducting interviews and reviewing surveillance videos, and police have asked anyone with doorbell cameras or footage in the area to help. An Amber Alert was not issued because the circumstances surrounding Athena's disappearance do not meet the specific guidelines required, authorities said, but a missing and endangered person alert went out Tuesday in a 15-mile radius of Surreal. Police have launched a desperate search for four-year-old Athena Brownfield who was reported missing by postal worker after his first finding the girl's sister unattended outside. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol and Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation have deployed infrared helicopters, four-wheelers, boats, personnel on the ground to search for the surrounding areas for her. Brooke a betterman I can't pronounce that correctly, with the OSBI said in an update on Wednesday that investigators are working to put together a timeline of when Athena was last seen. She said the girl's parents are in contact with the OSBI, but would not give additional details about their whereabouts or who was responsible for Athena when she went missing. The older sister was described as frightened but not requiring medical assistance. She was placed in protective custody. It is not clear how long she had been missing before her disappearance was reported or when her sister Athena was last seen. An investigation began around 2 p.m. after the postal worker discovered Athena's five-year-old sister wandering alone near the, their home in the 200 block of West Nebraska in Cyril. The worker called Cyril police and authorities then learned that Athena was missing. I myself would like a little bit more insight into that, but we're not going to get that. It's, you know, whatever the, the sister said at the time. 
I do not understand why that lady from the Bureau, Brooke Abediman, however you say it, he did make the comment that they weren't, they were keeping the investigation and the search within the town. And I do not understand. It's like a 15 mile radius, guys, all the way around. I do not understand that. Why do they not want to widen the search for this child? It, anybody could have came by and grabbed that child and took her. She could be anywhere. Another thing I would like to point out is this Brooke woman, which I know it's probably her job, but it really gets on my nerves. Uh, once again, social media is supposed to watch what they're saying and, and don't be spreading rumors and this and that and the other. Well, let me tell you something. In my opinion, if we kept it to the local news wherever the child went missing, if only the local news stations and stuff were reporting on these children missing, their pictures and their stories would not get out nationwide. It is social media that gets these pictures and stories out as quickly as they get out. So instead of con condemning us and saying we're doing nothing but causing problems, they should be helping social media creators to help get more accurate, reliable information out because we can get it out quicker. That's just my rant for today. It just kills me that, that these babies keep going missing. I would like to say there was somebody, I don't remember who it was when I was doing research on it, said that they had found, they lived like three blocks over from where Athena and her sister lived, said that they had found, her husband had found a tricycle in the middle of the road earlier the, that day before they found out that this baby was missing. And he had stopped and set the tricycle out of the road and was concerned about, you know, what child may have been playing on it wondering if they were okay or not and then later that day they found out about Athena and evidently they know Athena and her sister so this is really you know bothering them so prayers for everybody involved guys and prayers that this baby is found soon quick unharmed and brought back so that we know you know we have one good ending at least I do want to say that I don't know if it says it in there at any point but the sister is in state's custody right now or protective custody, which is the same thing. And I'm assuming she's going to stay there until they figure out what was going on and why those children were out by themselves. Like I said, guys, say prayers and I'll see you on the next video.